right. This is all working still. <laughs> it has been so long since we have done some hard space. Uh, that we're gonna tell a little bit of a problem there with the uh, getting everything configured right in the software. Choosing the right options. And uh, I hit the button to go, and it said, "No, wait, you're, uh, it doesn't work." I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I selected something wrong. <laughs> I think we're all good now. Oh. Audio is working. Hello, Charmer. Hello, Jake. Great to see you guys. So, uh, in our intro stuff, hello. My name is Wakata, and welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. We are uh, resuming our career at our 52 at, uh, well out of debt, and uh, still looking for posters. Oh! Why are we getting a notification here? Obviously there has been update since uh, last time we played. <laughs> uh, third time to invest in specialist training. Speak to, your, speak to your manager today about enrolling in one of the advanced career programs. Continue a growth under the oh, that would be cool. They actually added new, new, uh, just just new stuff to do. Welcome, uh, Captain Killjack. Uh, yeah, Jake. Sorry, I, I missed last week. Um, it was wait a minute. What shipload failed? Oh, uh, probably because of past, you know, whatever was left from last run, which should have been an empty ship because we never end with a not depleted ship. Um, yeah, Jake, I, I, it was weird not streaming last week. Um, for those who have been with me through the, uh, Power of Power, uh, live stream through, for, for Satisfactory, I mentioned towards the end of last stream that, uh, there were some things in the air, uh, in, regarding my, my life outside of YouTubing, um, that I was either going to resolve in my favor and things were going to go very well for me or not resolve in my favor and things were going to go very poorly for me. And unsurprisingly, they did not resolve in my favor. And, uh... I had to miss last stream. But, we're back. <laughs> uh, Everforward. Uh, and I didn't even publish a... I didn't even have time to, to do a... Uh, Satisfactory episode for last week. So I was person non grata for, for YouTube <laughs> for a week. Uh, but uh, we're back up and running. There will be an episode tomorrow for, uh, for uh, Satisfactory. But this is about hard space. So we're going to do this. And man, I, I, uh, I almost didn't do hard space today. Because uh, one of the streams I had talked, or you know, I had talked to previously when we were when we were uh, getting pretty far into this series about what we were going to do next. So because Satisfactory isn't a regular live stream thing for me; it's only if I have a specific kind of project that tailors itself to live stream. And one of the things I had mentioned was a game called Stacklands, uh, which is a it's a cute little game that involves. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a colony building thing using cards but it's not card not like a deck builder it's just it's just hard to describe <clears throat> but uh anyway this week or may i think maybe a day or two ago they just surprised dropped a new expansion for it and i almost shifted gears and just did a live stream for it you know to discover the expansion uh the problem with it is that uh a complete playthrough of that game is pretty long and it's been a while since I played it, and uh, it would have been a really slow start without me getting some practice and refamiliarity with the game, uh, because the expansion would have been the last thing we interacted with. So it probably would have been at like eight hour, you know, hour eight or, or, or something like that when we actually got to the expansion, uh, which would not have made for great content uh, if you know if the the stream was based on exploring the expansion. So, uh, putting that off, 
maybe maybe next week who knows we'll see what happens uh yeah gavin it's just you know it is what it is uh sometimes uh, our our fate is not in our own hands and uh, we just have to rely on others to make favorable decisions for us or um or not and then we just move on uh let's check our equipment I think we still have two posters that we are missing. Uh, I have not played this since the last live stream, as you guys know. Wow, Cutter is really on the edge. Uh, this this playthrough has been 100% done on live. So, uh, I'm probably a little bit rusty. <laughs> Let's go ahead and repair. Uh, oh, I got an achievement for doing that. Obviously, achievements have been added. Uh, to the game, uh, so you know they. I don't think that there was anything new added to the game from a, a content standpoint. You know, the intro said explore other trainings. It's probably just flavor text, but let's look at the employee terminal. Make sure there hasn't been anything added to it. Oh, yeah, it's still just in contract. I figure if they added anything functionally interesting. Uh, I would be aware of it, but I, I haven't been active on the Discord for Heartspace because I've been mostly on the Discord for Satisfactory since that's my active series. I only have so much time to sit around Discord. Um, but uh, I figure I would have heard something. Uh, but let's uh, let's warm up with, of course, a mackerel. Probably a mackerel, maybe an atlas, something small. Remember how the controls work? Hopefully, it didn't reset my controls because apparently there was an update. And uh, oh, it's the one of the black castles. I love, I love this color scheme. Uh, big cargo mackerel wouldn't be a bad start. I don't think I want to start with a gecko. Uh, let's. Let's start with a, a station up. That feels like a good warm-up uh, vessel, right? With the, the heavy cargo, you don't really have to deal with the pressurization in the walls, and you have to deal with asteroids. I think that uh, the macro station hopper is a good all-around ship. I think that would be a good way to warm up. Try to remember the controls. Hopefully, hopefully the muscle memory will kick back in. I did wear my, uh, my, uh, the Kraken breaking a ship for, uh, for the occasion. <sighs> the, uh, sea ship breaker. Felt like it was appropriate. Getting back to this. Oh. Dang. Activity is a little, a little slower than it is in Satisfactory. Move it around a little bit here, get used to the movement again. Oh, and we are seeing lots of stuttering here. Salvage hopefully, secured. hopefully that will smooth Applying out. Credit. Okay, uh, we got aluminum on the bottom else to remove on the outside uh, that's not the that's the light button okay we'll leave that on anyway there's the there's the scanner everything's pressurized wow it is really oh yeah it's right the rail gate oh I don't think that was causing our stuttering that was nice and smooth though It's like I, I, there's a little stutter there when I was turning the airlock, and then one when I was grabbing it. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Junk. So much new junk. Free money. 
got an achievement for that. I think I'm gonna be seeing gonna be seeing a lot of achievements. All right, broken regulator. That's fine. Try all the ships have working regulators now. Oh, let's take that off because we know it's gonna pull itself off the wall anyway. And uh, let's, let's press the button. I don't think there's anything else complicated we need to do here. Air pressure level decreasing. I'm glad to see people are actually uh, are still interested enough to come back. I was half worried that we were gonna start the stream and, and just no one's gonna show up because the game is uh, not exactly new. Oh, wow, yes, yeah, struggling, wow. What is going on? I rebooted my computer just before I started, just to make sure it didn't have any unnecessary stuff in memory. Probably open, if I remember correctly, we can open the airlock door now. It should equalize. Airlock depressurizing. So you want to do that because the airlock was still pressurized. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> oh, sorry. I am absolutely uh, glad that, you know, we'll have people show up. I, yeah, I... I don't return to this game for the views. I return to this game because I love this game. It is just so fun. It has never gotten boring for me. And I'm just excited that other people share that opinion and are still interested in coming back and watching. Because it, you know, a certain amount of my time has to be allocated to creating content if I want to keep my channel actually deposit. active. Credits transferred. Uh -huh. And so, if I can spend some of that time playing a game that I just love to play, then it's like win-win. But those are two separate chairs. And then I get to spend my YouTube creation time just playing a game that I'd like to sit around and play anyway. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. I gotta be kind of careful because I'm... It, uh, you know, rem make sure I'm sending things to the places that they're supposed to go. Still need to vent the front room. Hey, free fuel. Nice. I just want to get anything that's stray in case anything comes flying out. Bottle here out of the way. All right. It's a depressure. Uh, I still don't understand why it depressurizes the outer hull. Because there shouldn't be any air leaks. Oh! Major star there. It could be also that the game is reloading some. You know, because obviously there were some updates. And it might be the first time it's loading code into memory when we, we do something new. It's a little bit of a stretch, but I'm going with it. Oh, do not want to tell of that because that is the, uh, oh, that's the light object. Uh, that's the power conduit. Power junction box. That was close too. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Oh, the lights. I do not miss fucking lights off of structures. Registered. Transferring credits. My 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 backwards driving is uh, a little bit out of practice there. Flying myself into corners. 
I almost just yeeted that into the to the nether too. That might be the first time I've ever actually used the word yeet. Or at least unprompted. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Room, aluminum above us, and there was aluminum on the bottom that we saw when we were damning the ship. Don't wait, just split us all. It's like the, uh, the notification in the top left of the money. It's changed. Uh, first of all, the font it seems a lot bigger. I'm fine with. It seems a lot. Well, I was about to send that into the processor. Uh, a lot more legible. Also, the I think there was a symbol next to it that was new. Uh, pay a little closer attention to it. Oh, it's just a. <laughs> it's a thumbs up and a thumbs down. <laughs> Like, having the lady tell you don't do that wasn't enough. Now we have to get a thumbs down, too. That's good. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Ba -ba -ba. Let's get back through here. Slowly coming back. Boy, that's a lot of processor. Now, if they're gonna give us a thumbs down, we're gonna we're gonna shave this off. That's gonna be processor two. I get a little practice on this anyway. Might as well do it on something that's cheap. Material accepted. Where is it? There it is. Transferred. Is that the, 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 the UI info? Object accepted for processing. Hey, look, we saved two thousand dollars, almost three thousand dollars. Five minutes left to get your work done. Okay, Cutter? Oh, Dee Dee. Forgot about Dee You know, we need to we need to make a decision at some point here. I keep putting off the decision on whether or not to retire and start over. Because you know we've we've talked many times about wanting to do another playthrough of this where we don't do the industrial action so that we can uh, Work, our, work ourselves out of debt, honestly. Uh, but the main reason I keep putting it off is because we haven't found our posters yet, and it feels like an incomplete run. But, you know, if we restart, we're going to be looking for those posters all over again anyway. That did not shut off. Oh, there's a good thing it didn't shut off, because I haven't turned the switch yet. Our cubes on the interior. My flying skills are definitely rusty. But it'd be nice to get uh, Weaver back on the comms. Not that everything is Dee Dee. He's perfectly adequate. 
But she's not Weaver. You know, I just realized that we doesn't look like we even can. It's not uh, an object that we can grab. You see, it's not getting the, it's not having the pulsing. We're not even allowed to make that mistake. That's a little disappointing. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. We got two minutes. I'm gonna get this wall pulled out. Or at least get ourselves quick access. To uh, this area. From the from the front. It's all too close to it. There are 17. Hello, reactor. My mate. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. I kind of expect something to blow up just because I know I'm out of practice. Um, what would I like to see from... Oh. There's something in here that we don't want caught. Uh, too late to move. Uh, no charm, uh, what would I like to see like from further story development? Uh, from the story development, I don't know that... I don't know that we need... Um, I'm, I'm really content with the story. As far as it is. Um... Uh, As far as like feature-wise, um, I know that they're they were pretty adamant about that they were never going to do military uh, projects. I feel like the I feel like the the developers had expressed they were going to avoid doing that. Uh, obviously, we'd always like to see more ships. Oh. Good morning, Cutter nine three four six. I don't really know what we could do from a new like hazard standpoint. Why are none of my buttons? It says press enter. That one worked. I I mean, I do think that military ships would make. An interesting dynamic because it would be a lot more opportunity to put more things that go boom and you know something that I had expressed a number of times throughout the development cycles was that 
hazards in the game became less and less and less hazardous. Uh, whereas to where you, at this point, you kind of have to make an effort to to do something catastrophically bad. I mean, you can you can lose stuff into the furnace, but like from a danger standpoint, it's pretty hard to to do something really bad because the the hazards are are so easy to mitigate. Uh, you really don't have to be very careful around stuff anymore. And I do think that, you know, having military ships would give a lot of opportunity to give us a a true high danger ship where people can just avoid it. If they, if they don't want that challenge, then they can not do those ships. But I do think that would be a good idea. Because, you know, there'd be a lot of ordnance in them that we'd have to, to work our way around. Uh, you know, potentially having to move things. Where is the... There it is. Like, you know, imagine a gun turret Fuel levels restored. Processing valuable that, you know, part of it has to go into the processor, part of it has to go into the, the furnace, and it has ammunition interwoven inside it. And you just really have very little space to work with, where you have to be very careful with your cuts. Uh, and, you know, just... I think that that would be an interesting challenge, and I definitely think there's a lot of potential in there, but I'm pretty sure they said that they were not interested in doing something like that. But that falls in the realm of give us more ships, rather than uh, new features. Uh, there are some quality of life things I'd like to see, like uh, selectively canceling tethers, rather than you know, the, just the one button that cancels all tethers, that would be really nice. Uh, some type of gravity, gravity sphere function on the, on the grappler would be nice. Uh, to where you can pull small bits together. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Oh, what does that pass? Just that. These things all seeing. But everything else I really would like to see in the game are things that we know there's no chance we're going to get, which is, well, bigger ships. <laughs> which means a larger bay. And uh, that's a fundamental rework of the base game. Sadly, we will not see that. And of course, we've also talked about uh, how nice it would be to be able to select which, you know, which uh, is a furnace and which is a processor. You know, personal, personally configure the or the the assignment of what's what. Getting rid of the angling of the bay, of the bay, so that the uh, the furnace and the and the processor were actually parallel, <laughs> uh, which would virtually instantly eliminate any problems with chips getting sucked into the furnace. For those who haven't played this a uh, long time, uh, just a reminder that those two walls right there are parallel. The furnace and uh, processors are angled inwards. If it was just a straight line, we wouldn't have stuff get stuck in the furnace. Or at least if we did, then it would be totally our fault. But from a, a feature standpoint, I know I'm shy of them, you know, actually giving us a new bay and thus opening up, you know, all new options. Salvage deposit registered. You know, congratulations, you've worked off your debt. You can now go work at this other station. 
then, you know, it would just be a whole new bay. Right, which then would give them an opportunity to have larger ships and whatnot. And it wouldn't require... I didn't need to cut that. It wouldn't require rebalancing what's already been done in the game. The ships that you already are balanced towards at this bay would remain the same. You know, and they wouldn't have to take this bay into consideration when designing new ships at that point. Uh, working out of Titan for me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, some kind of large bay. And it, like, they don't have to be fancy about it. Object right, I mean, they can more or less reuse the assets that they have now and just draw a new geometry and say here's your here's your new here's your new larger or longer bay or you know honestly creating a new bay would be and I, I don't mean to uh, uh, undercut the, the kind of work that was required to make things like this but making a new bay in that sense would be relatively trivial. You know, we already, they already have the physics engine pretty well worked out. Oh, we still are seeing light. What do we not... We missed a... Oh, cube somewhere. Uh -huh. yeah, they wouldn't have to reinvent the wheel. They've done, they've done the legwork already with creating the, you know, with the physics engine and creating the assets. Uh, the main challenge would be the creating of the new ships to go in the larger bay. And if you're giving us a larger bay that is not this bay that's been enlarged, it's a storyline extension, then we're talking about multiple new ships. And at that point, we're talking about an expansion to the, to the game, which I would pony up for immediately. They announced it as an expansion. I'm going to pull full, put a full cycle into it, rather than it just being a, you know, content update. Valuable object process. I'm all on board. Credit deposited. But they did a great job of making, whoop, get away from me, making the game pretty feature rich. There's not a lot that I would add into the current. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Uh, setup that the game is, the current design. It's pretty, pretty packed as it is. Here, how do we normally do this? We just boop this off, right? Boop. Oh, apparently I disconnected something I didn't normally do. That's fine. And you on your merry way. I think that, okay, I mean, I knew I cut that thing on accident, but I think we're, what we've gotten used to is the, the front piece that's on most of the ships that we do. This one doesn't have the, the bumper guard on the front. What do they call it? The ram bar? That's what it is on the... Um, like on police cruisers. I think we got to where if we went back far enough we could get the whole window. No, oh, it's moving. Stop moving. Boy, at this rate we're going to be three... Three shifts on a mackerel. That's a that's a statement of being rusty. Raw material deposited. Object accepted for processing. Mm, I think we're good. The cockpit really came apart, didn't it? That could not be safe to fly around in it. Cockpit didn't come apart so easily. Just Five one point of con better. contact. Know 
other supplies running low. Valuable objects processed. Credits awarded. Salvage goal cleared. Rewards allocated. Okay, we gotta cut out the mounting. Oh, no, we don't. That mounting plate's furnace. I knew that if I tethered that down, it was going to pull the whole ship. I did it anyway, and it did it again. Oh, don't hit it. Okay. Salvage deposit going to be Applying credit. quick and efficient here. Do not want to have to do another shift on mackerel. Not that I'm judging people who take three shifts for macro to take as long as it takes. It's that I'm aiming to be an expert at this, I feel like it probably should be beyond that. And that did not go. We have third cut. All we have left is the contents of the cockpit. We're light enough. We are light enough. Deposit accepted for process. Yeah, my 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 single greatest wish in this game is still to cut capture and cut that ship that keeps blocking our light in the background. And that's less about wanting to cut ships and more about my wanting to take away that ship from the people who keep blocking my light. Oh, no tethers! Oh, no time for this! Did I get the rest of the hull in the furnace? Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Have a nice day. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whew. My brakes worked. Be on the inside of this. So I can fire it down. The whole point to pointing it downwards. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Out of the way. Coming through. Salvage what are we forgetting? Applying credit to account. Start moving it. And then we'll look it over. Not going for the button lights. All of that should be furnace. Establish that the plate was furnace. Door handles. Door handle. Shift's almost done, Cutter. One minute left. Don't get dragged into the furnace. Mini me, all right. Sure, we're in a rush. Why not go ahead and just cancel your tethers? Oh. Nothing missed the barge. I'm glad we did not start out with something like a, a gecko. <laughs> feel feel like uh, I've lost my rhythm which happens when you don't play a game for a couple of months oh it's not gonna all go in look it did not all go in how much is left 
Hundred thousand. Our daily is worth less than a hundred thousand, right? I think Cutter Fifty Two is going to get a get an, uh, an easy day. Oh wow, it's taking a long time to load. I think our daily is like sixty eight thousand, right? Eighty five. Wow. They add new fees. There should not be a salvage transport fee because we didn't accept the new ship. There's been no salvage has been transported. Like this should be like the first first night on a new ship. This is a fee that we should get because we've had them all you know a salvage to our bay. It, the the keys are not working here. They've 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 goofed something up. It, yeah, Jake, that's probably exactly it. They're they're charging us to take the the salvaged the stuff that we've salvaged away, even though they're paying us for that salvage. I'm gonna look at the controls real quick, like. Or anything no, because it, it illustrates the correct button on that screen it just doesn't take it yeah they've they've disassociated something from the button Oh well, it's a minor thing. All right, let's uh, let's profit about twenty grand here in a, about five seconds. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Wait a minute, that was only twenty-seven. Ten. Okay, it's coming in now. All right. Get the rest of the day off. Oh no, it wasn't enough. They lied to us. Twenty-six thousand left over. All right. Oh well. Good morning, Shipbreaker. This is your daily wake-up call. Yeah, they tricked us. But you know how it is. We've got to, we got to finish the ship. Sometimes perfection has a cost. Oh, okay. Hmm. Do we go Javelin or do we go Gecko? Ooh, there's a heavy cargo. Our old friend. The Lynx, Lynx brand heavy cargo. I don't think I want to go... I don't think I want to go Salvage Runner today. So I think the station hopper has a higher chance. I think that was the one of the things that we determined. I think that this station hopper had a higher chance of having the posters that were missing. I think that's where we found one of them. And of course we hadn't we hadn't been that's right, we hadn't been doing the javelin cargo one. Person. Right, because we had discovered that there was the that they had changed or they had added a variant for the heavy cargo. Previously, we had just been doing the 
the other one because of the rings, you know, trying to maximize our, our first, work on our first round, first shift profit just out of our own challenge. And then we realized that there was a new variant of the heavy cargo. I want to do the heavy cargo. I don't want to do it for. I think I think I need more. I need I need more practice because we'll do the first round thing. So I think we're going to go with uh, our old our old favorite heavy cargo gecko. I feel like I should do the station hopper to look for uh, posters. I love this ship. I haven't I haven't done this ship in such a long time. Hello, Gecko, my old friend. Good to see you again. First thing I'm going to do is blind it. it doesn't know what's, what's being done to Salvage it. Take away the sensors. Credit applied. These should be attached to the ship. Break these off because they are so easy to break on their own. Salvage secured. Applying credit. See it? Come on. You can do it. I still feel like they've diminished the specialness of it by doing it every single time, but I guess they're really proud of, uh, of the animation. They should be, because it is really cool. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Airlock depressurizing. Airlock depressurizing. He's pulling me to it. It's, not, it's something that used to happen rarely, but it's happening on every door handle now. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Drift over into the furnace. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. I'm starting to get used to the, the movement. There's a, there's a little bit of a salvage deposit confirmed. A delay on the response. Credits. We've been playing Satisfactory so much, and the, the activity is different. I'm starting, I'm, I'm starting to get back to, into this. Airlock pressurizing. I've spent so much time in Satisfactory this week, <laughs> working on the next episode, working on the, you know, getting the 85 gigawatt plant troubleshoot, you know, and and uh, finishing up scanning it. Which, uh, for those of you who were along for that, you will have a preview of the final design of it for this episode because the aluminum plant is right across from it. So you can kind of see what it came out like. Oh, there's the... Yeah, I knew we were looking... Oh my goodness, two big ones down here. They were really trying to ambush us. There will be an episode that will be redundant for those of you who were there. Based on the uh, power of power, that will probably be in a week or so.
but it will cover the final product too and all the final changes I've done to it. And there have been a lot of just small mistakes that I've found. Mark one pipe where I should have had Mark two, little things like that. Found a couple of machines that I just didn't, you know, convey didn't connect their conveyors at all. Other little things like that. I think I've got. Last time I checked, I think I've got the 85 gigawatts, you know, potential up to like 84. And uh, the fluid dynamics in that game, you know, I'm if I can ha have it steady at 84 gigawatts, I will be happy. Because uh, maxing out the 600 pipes, uh, it's always been known to have low problems. All right, I think we're good here. Da, 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 da. No more ambush. Front. Oh, another data drive. I, wait, did you let me? Fine, I'll go this way. And I'm gonna go under there anyway. The one we can decode immediately. What they say about work in space is true. Oh, the one and they need you. They need you real bad. But only for about five years. Not five years from today or tomorrow, but when you get here. Now, the one are you're strong up here. Real strong. But your shelf life is only about five years. Zero G takes it out of you. You lose your muscles, lose your bones, and you'll be weak, too. Rock riding and cutting aren't as easy. You got five years, though. Five years of good work. Make it count. And you're a zero, just like the hawking rest of us. Was, that audio was so soft, I could barely tell what she was saying. You have, you have uh, overheating issues with, with uh, Factorio. I dabbled in that game, and I enjoyed my dabbling in it, but I... Sure, I'll ever bother returning to it. There's just plenty of other options out there. But yeah, if it's overheating and shutting down, that's not a good sign. Like maybe you need to re replace your CPU fan. <laughs> Go, go liquid cooled. My machine's liquid cooled. Not that I think that I've ever stressed it to the point to where, where it's given me any real benefit. All right. Anything stray that we care about that we can move easily? Obviously, the asteroids are going to come slamming forward. Uh, did we check the front? Nothing but exposed uh, radiation there. All right, I want to see if I can carefully push these forward so they don't get so much momentum. Where's the other one? There oh, he's right behind the. Yeah. I don't think I want to leave you there. We know we're going to crack that door open. Depressurize this whole chamber. We don't need these to be missiles. I 
that's fine. Go over there. I think we've run into issues with this depressurizing through the glass. I like that this is one of the the ships that introduced that problem. So it may be depressurized before we even get to this uh, segment. Self. Hey Cutter, five minutes left in this ship. All right. Air pressure level decreasing. Yeah, my uh, my system has really been struggling when I when I'm inside the uh, the Tower of Power. And those who were who were there for the last stream saw some of that. Did not pressure the glass. Good. But I get I get some serious slowdown, frame frame loss, and and even audio stuttering when I'm inside certain parts of the tower. I'm not looking forward to recording. That part of the upcoming video. That was an awful lot of air for that one one room. Alright. Alright, let's try not to die to flame flying asteroids. Oh, there was a stutter there. Oh, asteroids, stay away from me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No crushing. What were those? I have no idea what those came off of. All right. Well, the deed is done. Let's start attaching everything. Nope, we can that one on its own. Prep the cockpit before we run out of time for the shift. I saw a new game. Um, what is it called? It's Colony something. Something something colony. It's a new resource management space factory. Something, something, something. Orbit colony, or... It looks like it's sort of a... Uh, like colony management, but yet you can go first person. And individually manage. Uh, like, you know, building and, and digging and, and all that whatnot. It looked like an interesting gimmick, as whether or not it turns out. But, uh... Really trying to think of what the name of it was. It was the name was so generic that it was, you know, space this. <laughs> that uh, yeah, I, I'm drawing a blank on what the name was. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we have a coolant leak. Yeah, it's not Planet Crafter. This this was released, I think, just this week. Or, I mean, it's, it early access, I think, was released this week. I'm pretty sure the word orbits in it. Astro Colony, that might have been it.
almost sent that into the processor. Stop yo yoing. Kind of killing time for the next shift. That's a large item. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. I wrote it down somewhere. I'll, I'll take a look after the shift. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, the game just entered in early access, so, you know, if it follows this, the standard process, then I wouldn't be surprised if it had two or three years worth of, yeah, it was Astro Colony, that's exactly what it was. You know, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see it being developed for the next two or three years, or, or, or more. We've, we've seen, we've seen some games sit in early access for ridiculous amounts of time. So the, I what I couldn't tell by by the trailer was whether or not if they were very early in early access or if they were late into the development. I can't tell. Um, I read some of the comments, and there were some some concerns, but we see that on anything, especially early development stuff. Concerns about the way production worked, or machines not functioning while they were too far away. Uh, things that I would expect to see de uh, addressed in development. There didn't seem to be much in the much argument in the content uh, except for them saying that the late game was just a minus grind. Good morning, ship breaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of 8 hours of sleep. 1.3 million just does not feel good. Be from the next pay cycle. 1.3 million does not feel like a good shift. Steam suggested it to me because, you know, I play factory games and I play space games. So factory space games. Oh, we did not get all the stuff off of the ship. You know we would have sent that into the processor. Deposit registered. Really not realizing they were attached to it. That was a lot of aluminum on here. We're gonna have to dismantle this more than we normally do. Leaving that attached. Oh, 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 fell down. Fell down now. Try to pull this straight. Then we'll angle it in. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Yeah, exactly. A space the space factory game does sound perfect. Oh, we're seeing a lot of jittering uh yeah i mean i've talked about space engineers in the past i i own it um i i've when i've played space engineers i've had a lot of fun with it my complaint about space engineers is that it's a game that relies entirely on players to make the content not the developers and i find that fundamentally flawed 
in game development in general. It's it's a sandbox game, which is fine, but there's no goal in it. There's no objective. There's no. There's basically nothing. It's just a. There's an engine for building spaceships, cool spaceships, and it's a really awesome engine. They've done an amazing good job of it. But then it's like, okay, I got into space, now what? I go mine asteroids that give me the same stuff that's on the planets. There's nothing out there to find. Planets are generic. There's just no reason to do anything in that game. Oh! And I know there's been people who have put together some pretty good mods for that game. But I don't want to have to rely on mods to make a game interesting. It should enhance the game, not not substitute for the developers not just finishing the development of the game. Now, if there was a, a like an organized server where we had a server goal that was, you know, a very very long term goal and had to work together to accomplish it, I'd be all on that. I think that would be super fun, and I think that would play well into Space Engineers. We just have to it'd require somebody to organize it and manage it, and plan it out. That's not me. Like, I would be one of the people who would get on that server, spend a lot of time building up my my transport uh, mining ship, and then I would just I would just spend hours on the server just flying around mining asteroids and then coming back to the space station and dumping it off and letting people do whatever they want to do with those, with those resources. Space Engineers wasn't, wasn't supposed to have planets? I was not aware of that. Why are you not coming off? Uh, I didn't buy Space Engineers until after the planets were already added. I didn't, I didn't follow the early development. But the planets are completely generic. There's just no, there's no reason to go to them. Can you please... I'm going to risk doing this, and it's going to throw me into space. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Well, I should not get the jack-me-up from the pushing back. That's bad. Credits transferred. We know for a fact you are not attached to anything. You've moved already. Salvage goal obtained. Additional rewards assigned. Don't make me get out the demo charges. All right, um, while we wait on that to behave, we should be doing other stuff. Like, I, the last time I played Space Engineers, I, I built myself a space train, and it was, I just loved it. I loved flying around space, mining stuff, and doing processing on the ship. Salvage destroyed. Don't do that. But there was just... I was not doing it for anything other than to continue to expand the ship. And the ship eventually got done. You know, I had I had uh, refined, uh, you know, cars for each good, and I had I had scripts running that would, you know, on the command blocks and whatnot that would allow me to control the all the refineries and all the cargo containers and. Would give me readouts on the on the bridge as to how much I have of each material, and it, it was super cool, and it was a lot of fun to do. But then I was just like, "All right, now what?" Right. 
front end of the cockpit. Is there anything I'm missing on the front end of the cockpit? missing anything oh yeah that was yeah it was wedged to the front of the, yeah it was it's just it was the whole frustration that we've had for a long time with this with this ship with the geckos in general you do not belong there salvage secured credits deposited valuable object accepted for processing Alright, and all of you stuff need to be... Why did I see furnace? Oh, because it was the crown. Shuffle everything back a little bit. No, 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 stay, stay, stay. No, I'm fine. This guy has always been a problem, child anyway. Positive. Applying credit to account. Right inside. Right inside for the ride. Or I saw something else trying to get away. Back up a little bit. Make sure now we're back not backing into the processor. Well. If there's something else out there, then we'll spot it later. Salvage destroyed. Please pay attention. I am paying attention, lady. I did not miss that woman. The one voice actress that they kept from early access. The, the, the mean voice in your head, lady. Warning. Fuel levels are low. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Purchase at the Master Jack. Valuable object process. Credits deposited. More or less level. There we go. Hopefully nothing got left behind. On my way. There might have been something on the lip, but I don't think there really is. Nope. All right. All right, now clean up work. Pew. Pew. Salvage deposit secured. You're just Credit wanting to bounce order. off of each other, aren't you? Pew, pew, pew. Salvage deposit confirmed. <laughs> Applying credits. I never get tired of this. Oh, you're going to bounce too. There we go. Pew. <clears throat> pew. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Got a long way. Sling that guy. Damn pew. Salvage deposit accepted. Alright, did we miss credit anything? Transferred. I wasn't keeping track. I felt like I only saw one door handle. That, that door handle, just the handle handles. Yeah, I think we oh, got all of it. Nice. So this Object aluminum is, deposit. yeah, it's attached. Like the worst place you can have it. I don't know what that's broken from, but. I think it's attached on both sides. 
This is a really bad place to have it. It's gonna be the same on both of them. Woo! The whole ship's been energetic. You're gonna misbehave the same way. that left corner is looking. That was a little bit better. Alright. So that's processor. I think I saw aluminum in the back somewhere. Yeah, right there too. Oh man! So much aluminum. Why is this door closed? We opened them. All right, Cutter. Time to wrap it up, okay? One minute left. I still don't feel like these should be barge items. I think the armor plate has been, has gone in every every location through development, right? Didn't they, weren't they originally a processor item, and then they became a furnace item, and then for some reason became a barge item? I think it's gone through the entire gambit. I just wanted to get that completely cut out. <clears throat> Alright, nearly 6 million. That's better than last. We've only lost 0.1%. None of it to this. Oh, nope, some of it here. Oh, we lost some lights. Of course, the glass. I'm guessing the lights were little button lights. I don't think we've lost any of the, the bar lights. Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Some people dream of great salvage, while other people get up every morning and make it happen. Low fuel. Alright, fine. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. You know Have a nice day. We're also low tethers. I think we can... Try to burn out these tethers real quick, like, before we run out of fuel. See any aluminum on the bottom, it's pretty safe to... <clears throat> Just oh, that thing is still leaking! Fuel levels are critical. Return to the master jack. Purchase the Usually the leaks on the pipes stop after a while. Remember that. I don't remember this cut point. That feels new to me. Ooh. Maybe the whole thing move. I really do not remember this cut point being a thing.
get our standard cuts out of the way. I don't think we're going to use up our tethers in time. Whoa! What did we cut? It's processor. Why? Oh, it's the titanium because it's the paneling under what was the plating. Got me. I'm, you know, I'm only used to looking at that on the javelins where we plating's common. find an excuse to use up all my tethers. Get out of the way. That guy to get all the way. No one's dragging any cargo containers. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. You're not going to run out of fuel. I do not allow it. Nope, that's on that one. Tether supplies are low. Waiting for that to turn them. That's all our tethers. Out of tethers. I don't know if that I don't know if that's actually uh salvage deposit accepted. Actually freed up to move. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your tethers restored. Look at all that free fuel we have. Had we had we done our fuel before we got here. Before we came back. No, oh, alright, freed. Nice. heavier than it looks, they really did not want to move. They move on. Get all day. Have the shell to deal with. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. Deposit accepted for processing. We have a putting off because of the all the aluminum on it. 
want to clear some space so we can get around it easier. That's the whole thing coming free. Oh, okay. Well, at least we didn't have to cut that out. Oh. I have another one on the other side. Account credit applied. We are clear to take this whole segment. This should already be freed up. It is. I think it's a little miniature spaceship flying on its own. That didn't go very far. Credits awarded. We'll attach to something. You're still attached Salvage there. Secured. You should be able to take that. Applying credit. Uh, no, you can't. Right here. I think it's all detached. Part of that. There's only one there, so we gotta be careful anyway. Hmm. Salvage deposit confirmed. Oh, I was gonna say that is it is this Come on, take off! You're supposed to... It's supposed to take off like a rocket. The whole thing is behaving weirdly. Not a good place to attach this. I don't want it going sideways. Committed to it. I suppose it's swing around and going straight. Five minutes left, Cutter. All good? Good. Edie, you're such a natural. Gotta babysit this. It's definitely not the angle I would normally send it in. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Come on, turn. Oh, that looked. See that? I, I grabbed that right there and it switched over to there. Definitely, it looks like that's going to work out anyway. Oh, look at Furnace trying to. Trying to get grabby. Valuable object accepted for processing. Pressurized.
Oh no, we forgot to look for hoists. I looked right at the railings too, and I'm like, there's something else I should be, should be doing with the railings. I just glanced and didn't, didn't see them, and it didn't register to, register to me that I was missing them. out of it we did not we're gonna spend the last two minutes working on this room being told not to melt away the corners that we have to melt away Characteristically quiet. One minute left on the clock, Cutter. One minute. I got his twist of the entire ship. electronics off so they don't fly everywhere and spark and fire to the mattress. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Did it take the Salvage mattress with it? Registered. Account credited. See the other mattress. Yes, it did. Ugh. I looked down first, didn't see it. I don't think it had crossed the line yet. Looked away to, to see if I could spot it somewhere else. I looked back and it, there was that big red $20,000 mattress. <laughs> That was a rough shift. Lost oh, more at sixty thousand. At least two hundred thousand from this shift alone. I think we were point one per point one percent uh going into that shift. Between the mattress and the hoist. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Did make over ten million though. I think we made pretty good progress on that shift. See if we can wrap it up on this shift. Yeah, there. Uh, antro antenna base. <clears throat> All right, let's get the fuses. Object 
Alright, who's this handled? Oh, the walkway is broken. That's different. It's usually one long walkway. Was Did it break or was it not one solid walkway on this one? They've changed the ship if it wasn't one solid walkway. It's always been one one. Because that's the thing we do is we, we cut the three sides of the fork, right? This end and then those two and send the whole thing in as one piece. I was wondering how this was rotating seemingly independent because it shouldn't have been able to. That separates the two ship halves. We always leave that beam because that gives us our separation, our, our, uh, our connection between our two halves of the ship. For power and, and manipulating the spin, or pre preventing manipulating the spin because of increased mass. Just leave that door there. Come on, come on, come on. The other asteroid. There were two at the beginning. Come on. Up there. I want to go back and look at the beginning of the, the ship to see if those were divided. That's what it was, and that's a new thing, because I've never seen one split. Right. Straight objects. I could put more than two things out that window. Underneath. There it is. There's the other asteroid in the distance. Surprise, those aren't barge items, you know, for like collectors, collectors' asteroids. <laughs> Rich people can put them in their office. This is my personal asteroid. We're not working anymore. Probably because these are no longer attached. Salvage deposit registered. Means there's no longer getting power from. Oh no. That means we probably can't detach the thrusters. Oh, can we, can we, can we? Oh, thank goodness. I'm not gonna detach the last one. In fact, we'll just leave it for now. We're gonna wait to detach them because we know we have a leak on the bullet. And we just wanna be extra careful. Deposit 
start moving the back end out of the way. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Going to view that. We're going to walk it out. No view it. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Well, that pushed the ship all over the place, didn't it? Missed that one bar. Valuable object processed. Credit deposited. One more thruster still attached. Leave it attached for now. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. And so tethers. Guys. Attached. Or him on his way. Not fire that into the other thruster. That includes you. Okay. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Oh, don't hit that. Ooh. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. We're going to start clearing a path just in case. Well, that cut went high. Look at that. I should not have hit that. A yeah, safe angle to cut. Look at that. See, that's cutting. We're definitely not. They've changed something. That line was not across those. Making me, making me a little nervous. Get this out of here, please. Too much. Go. Uh, I think it's on the barge. Not. Ship orientation is all out of whack. But I think that we. Away. I think that we can. Get the reactor out this mess in a in a pinch. Five minutes left in the shift, cutter. Okay. If it goes into meltdown when we're okay. pulling that last thruster, don't expect it will. But I think we can. I think we can pull it to that opening. I'm a little nervous because these those 
two or three cuts we just saw where the red line was it was cutting where the red line wasn't i'm afraid this is going to cut the coolant even though the red line clearly is only on the fuel pipe the cut we've done a million times Ooh. Please. That's all we needed. Not ideal. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Something here. This is divided from the other side. Just our strategy. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. That guy thought he was going to be sneaky and go into the processor with a bit. Salvage secured. Applying credit. It's gonna catch. It's gonna catch. Good enough. Now we don't have to worry about bumping into anything. <laughs> so long. Clear your flight. Salvage deposit accepted. Okay. Credit transferred. I'm just not going to worry about that back end stuff for now. Orientate ourselves with the way the ship should be oriented. One minute left, Cutter. Start finishing things up. Completely upside down where everything is attached. Oh, we almost got it done this shift. Not a whole lot left to do. Get that back in, that's going to be the slowest part to move. Left a million? There we go. I wonder if this is just a variant that we haven't seen before or if there was an update. Please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. Or an actual update to the ship itself. I mean, I know there was 
looked like there was a patch because I'm getting achievements that, of things I've already done. I wonder if they actually tweaked the ship. Also, I'm noticing it's loading up way faster when you're going back to an existing ship. It feels like they maybe were unloading things unnecessarily before, that they're now not unloading. Applying credit to account. The ship's popping up instantly. Nice. Alright. Um, put this off. Right through the lights, because we don't care about the lights. Valuable object accepted for processing. But once over, make sure we haven't gotten anything from this. Door handles. Good, everything is furnace. Pipe alone. Credit the pipe alone. Nope. 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 Not what I wanted to do. Okay. That worked out. Nope. 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 Stop it. Well, that was awkward, but we got through it. I'm sure that we have door handles left on these. I don't think we emptied the interiors. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Our orientation is all askew. It's throwing me off. I can only imagine what it's like for you guys. Which way is up? Get everything off of here except for that light. Raw material deposited. Transferring credits. We're going to lose some more doors because we can't close them to cut them out. So that's okay. Tether supplies dropping. Rotate this, pull it in straight, nice and easy. I definitely like the music from this game better than I do Satisfactory. Raw material process. Credits deposited. Lights just floating around. Why did you not pew? Mm. There you go. Maybe they're just trying to take my eyes off of that back end so they can suck it into the furnace. Oh, that is close. We 
each other's left too. Would not be able to save it if it started to go in. Caught a button light in that pew. Off from the furnace. Processing valuable object. Credit awarded. There's our mini me. Well, I, I expected to have gotten the mini me before now. Well, Were we really that close object. to not getting it? Credits deposited. All right, we got one tether to spare. Oh, we'll keep it. Take a look at our... Yeah, 0.0% .0 remaining. 98.9%. I don't remember the back end accounting for that high of a percentage. Because the enemy is 95% now, right? So it, that back end had to have accounted for about 4%. I mean, I know it's a lot of nanocarbon, but... I mean, when you think about how much, you know, we put in there from the shell. Morning cutter 9346 dash 52. Like it's that high of a percentage. All right, I think we're going to do an atlas and then we'll wrap it up with a javelin. Get one of everything. Ooh, ghost atlas. Oh, let's do it. I don't even know which one that one is. That's uh, the Nomad. That's the middle one, right? Yeah, it's the Scout, and the Nomad, and then the uh, Rastabout Tug. Plus, maybe there will be some new achievements related to doing ghost stuff. Go out here with just one tether. I just think I can tether. Caution. Tethers depleted. I wouldn't have necessarily normally tethered these two things together, but why not? Worked out pretty well, I think. <laughs> I'm going to bother checking it for uh, AI nodes because it'll tell me if there is. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. We're not going to get new fuel until we verify whether or not there's fuel inside. Doesn't look like there are any... I feel like the base of that is a little bit more basey than before. Nice, I mean, I like it. But it feels like the, uh, 
the uh, rail gate is hitting a little harder than normal. Which is a little strange considering that we're in space and there's no air for there to be a concussion wave, but not complaining. If there weren't any, um, maybe no, he's on the he's outside, but he's not on the housing. Oh, that guy, look at that guy! Oh, my goodness, look at that guy! Seriously, oh, he's gonna be a problem child. Oh, oh. That's even worse. All right, let's uh, let's get the one that's safe. There was a little bit of stutter there nervous thing to have happen when you're starting fires. Out my way. Get out my way. Side. We need to clean them up later. We need to go inside and look for fuel. Wake him up. That's good. Try to go in the furnace. Yep, just trying to go in the furnace. Inside, real quick, scan for uh, for free fuel. Not peeling the door handle off because they're likely to lock us in or out.
All right, fuel. Yes, please. Wow, lots of fuel. Man, I'm really glad that I checked for it. Goodness. All right, broken air regulator. Oh. I think we got found. New sticker. Didn't get a, uh, a prompt to hear the audio from it. And okay, we've got a working regulator there. Refuel, it's just floating in midair. That's not good. attached to the back so if we have a regulator okay We're closing doors on us depressurize anything in our favor I think we're going to Depressurize this room through the button, and then cut through the roof and make this a, a room that they can't manipulate. I grab the broken regulator from this room. Oh, don't close the door on us. They... Yes, the airlock's depressurized. Let's open this door before they... ...crap us into a pressurized chamber. Hopefully they can take this roof off without... We haven't disconnected all of the... Uh but I think thrusters are only attached on to the roof on the uh, roustabout tug. Yeah, we're clear. All right. So now we have a secure way in and out. They can't mess with that room. Uh, we're going to start working on the engines and listen for them to depressurize something that shouldn't work because there's no more working regulators. Oh, we forgot to grab the one from the back. And if they depressurize something in favor for us, we will... Got about five minutes left till you're done for the We will rush in and cut something. To, uh... Get advantage of it. It's a real ring of fire there. Yep, it over. I think the shell is clear of these guys. It's that thing right there that is not clear. Yeah, we can send this in. Pull this way forward. I don't want to fight the processor or the furnace. Trap a little bit. Get a little love tap. Yeah, 
there for the moment. I wanted to send it across into the processor, but I should get this out of the way first. That guy swung way closer to the furnace than I expected. All right, so this guy. We don't normally dismantle this, but I think we're gonna have to. In this case. I'm not sure that I've ever taken one of these apart. Oh, that's not good. It's not coming apart. Yeah, because the he's stuck in between them. Not much time left, Cutter. One minute to go. Make sure it accepts that. Did. All right. So this might not go well. In fact, we're going to leave this for next shift. And uh, we're going to try something. For now, we got 20 seconds. That seems like a good idea to start a fire. What possibly could go wrong by doing this right now? Oh no, it's not gonna get past type. Why did I do this? Oh no, I didn't make it. Ah. Okay. A little overconfident there. I feel like we should abandon ship and get something else. <laughs> I don't want to go back. Oh. Oh, why did I do that? It took, it took a little bit longer for the thruster to get out of my way than I anticipated. I needed one second more. All right. I bought it my sandwich. I think I should put up a poll to, for uh, taking bets on whether or not I'm going to be able to keep that engine from exploding. <laughs> See what odds what odds Vegas gives me on it. But look how long it's taken to get over to the back to the hub hab. The hub is satisfactory. The hub is hard space. Please enjoy this inspirational message. 
the last 10% of a job takes as much energy as the first I'm sure that, that how long it was taking to get to so the hab to was it saving the ship. You know what, before we go back, make sure our thrusters are in good shape. Nope, 40%. Alright, I think it's the time to... And make sure we bought everything for the work. Uh, and cry an electrical. That's not going to be anything. Although I don't know why I have not bothered to buy those. All right. Made on bed. I got a lie in it. Sit up here. I'm ready to go. We know it's going to load fast. The grapple and drag. Then we have to make it back down through the ring of fire. There we go. Yes, yes, I'm going to continue salvaging this ship. Can't go too fast because I have to be able to break. Oh, it's underneath, underneath. I need to be on the other side of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, good grief! Oh. All right, a little singed. They really did make it hard to blow these things up, didn't they? There's no way I should have saved that. All right. Oh. Oh, he's on the outer hall, right? Yeah, I think he's right there. We can't really see him. Are you stuck? I think he might be stuck on that that AI node. Yes, yeah, this one's moving. That node might prove to be problematic. Alright, so what I wanted to do with this, because these are stuck together, I'm going to try to put them on the barge and then cut them there. Hopefully they'll lay down smooth and then get credited instantly. I want them to lay flat. I guess that doesn't really matter as long as they're not moving. There we go. Stop. Uh, it's sliding. That is really not going to make things any easier for me. That's not me moving. That's them. This was officially a bad idea. That's right. <laughs> Never had a doubt. Okay. The AI nodes are not helping us out by depressurizing anything. I do not appreciate. We're just going to move ourselves.
where they can repressurize. Okay. Outfit is handled. Uh, the back is just so... I did not prep the back at all. Although I can get in there, right? Because I can... I can cycle the airlock. Oh, this area is just going to be a, a mess. I don't really want to put all these free-floating things in the... ...hold or in the uh, airlock. Oh. Oh, you jerks. Don't start a fire. Oh! Oh, they depressurize the chamber! Quick, 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 quick! Ha ha! Suckers! <clears throat> My plan was from the outside to cut these off. But I heard them pressurize, or depressurize while we were outside. Scramble, do it this way instead. That's the entire ship depressurized. Except I think they might repressurize the airlock, but that's just a switch. I think this is clear. Yes. All right. Careful over here. Door handle, because we need to. I want to dismantle. Uh, we want the walls off so that we can get the bottom engine out of the way. Let's focus on that. Talking about something, and I have no idea what she was saying. It wasn't a, a normal. A normal time for her to be talking. All process are right, yeah, because we don't have a pusher pad on these. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. There isn't a... Alright, this one's clean. Always remember to check before I send them in. wing right here is what I wanted to remove. Yes, I think we need to remove that. The only, only thing that they could mess with anymore is the airlock. Letting, I'm leaving it so that they have something to play with. I 
make them feel like they're accomplishing something. Making sure there isn't a. They won't give us credit if there's a AI note on either of them. Those were clean. Being too lazy to actually check the objects. Alright. Looks like. The siding is clean. Go. Why are you still floating around here? I can see one right there. Done a very good job of hiding. Hey, Cutter. You've got five minutes left in this ship. Hope you're There's another one right there. You notice DD came through real clear, even though all the other stuff is garbled. AI like the AI nodes are afraid of DD. Like we're not gonna mess with her. Clear. Good. Forward, please. Okay, get rid of the other wing on the other side before we can remove that. Cockpit's depressurized, so we cut the door off of it. They can't mess with it. That should cover that. Leaving the Power cube on the side so that we can still operate doors. Where are you going? Excuse me. I see you. Stop spinning now. Posted ghost got another sticker. I don't think that's, yeah, that's definitely not the one that's for all ghosts on a ship total. Total across all ships. Clean. Good. That was the whoop. No, that we another part of the wing to go still.
One minute left to finish things up, Cutter. Trying to avoid the skill casters. Alright, one over here. Our next shift. The things that were on the back of the thrusters. All those should have been in the uh, processor, right? Other than the pipes that we blew up because of our poor choice and timing for breaking open one of the engines, final engine, I think it's uh, gone pretty well. Morning, ship breaker. Links would like to share the following message. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. Trifluor... Ah, uh, trifluoromethane... Something came off the screen. Went off the screen. I feel like there was a part in the middle there I missed. This is clear. Fuel canister out of our way. That. Light. You know, based on the size and the perspective of distance, it's a challenge to tell. Is it a large object that's far away or a small object that's nearby? Where did I miss a cut? There it is. your own tether. Okay. That means we can move this now. Uh, it's still stuck. That right here. I actually see you now. And your buddy. Oh, yeah, there we went. There's some strong AI nodes. Held an entire ship together. The guy on the outside, there's one on the inside, too, so I'm not going to bother getting that guy yet. We're going to dismantle this one like we did the other one. Both on that same one. That's better. Now 
Alright. I'm bobbing around. Stop it. Like getting so close to it to get precise because if it goes boom, that'd be in my face. Okay, one right there on the outside. Oh, are you feeling lonely, little guy? Oh, there's a guy in the cockpit. Cockpit, we can take this off now. Pilot's the only one left. Buddy, how you doing? I need to have a little bit of a talk here, but I'm understanding. Not your ship anymore. I believe that sticker indicates that we have everything off the ship. All right. Right, all right. much fuel on the ship, I feel like I should, after I'm done salvaging it, park the remains of it up next to the armadillo and just live off the fuel for a while. Time to play Can the Tethers Pull? the ship a little bit, but we don't care if it does. Our lock is pressurized. It left us a final Air present. Depressurizing. Careful not to accidentally catch the canister in that push. Raw material or cut that canister in the background. Fuel. It's 
those are. Ones that don't have to pick up. I'm gonna make up a little bit for some of the, uh, the piping we lost that caught on fire. Thanks for shenanigans. I think that's all we need for power force. I think we can get rid of this. The back plate is the processor, so we do actually need to take these off. shipments feel too heavy for me to manipulate. Salvage deposit registered. Price Account remain. credited. Valuable object accepted for processing. Or we can strip off of it. Hey Cutter. Five minutes left in this shift. Alright? Heavy. Got them both. Nice. Oh, this is the one where the, we get the little furnace brackets on the. Yeah, we can't do anything about that. I think they put those in there just so that they have something else for the dragon lady to. Clean about. Credits transferred. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. A thousand. Wow. This shift is not going to take us too long, I think, in the next shift. It's a little sloppy, but I think it's going to make it. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Salvage secured. Oh, we could have this floor out and then close the doors. And cut them out. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. My aim is lacking today. I'll have the door handle on that. Yes, we do. Go ship. We always leave them to the end. Deposit 
Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Still too heavy to manipulate. All right. I mean, we got tethers for that. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Would like to get some answers out of the way. I'd like to softly pew them towards the the master jack. You know that even a minimal pew of this thing would just rocket it straight into it and blow it all up. You watching the clock, Cutter? You've got one minute left. Yeah, I'm watching the clock, BD, and the ship is secure. literally the opposite direction I want to be facing. Really upside down. Deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Okay, stop spinning now. That'd be great. That's oh, others. All right, well. Doing this manual way. Good time as any to go back to the Master Jack. It's at 0.8%, which is not bad for having nearly blown up one of the engines. Finer detail, right? Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Today's weather report, million? clear and sunny with a high of minus 270 degrees. Throw on our pile of cash. All the money we've made, we still couldn't buy Twitter. Oh, we didn't buy tethers. Salvage accepted. Right. Credit applied. Much for that good timing of warping back to the Master Jack. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Have a nice day. Nobody was going to tell me either. There's a second chair to go with that. Yeah, I was so happy to not have to go back to the hab. Hub. Hub. Hab. Get tethers. I completely forgot about it on the way out. You know, we haven't seen any posters either. I saw that squared, made me think of posters. Still not light enough to manipulate. Fine, I think we got everything out of the cockpit. That should be good enough. The old fashioned big big fat mattresses. The ones that are probably a lot more comfortable than the 
the new ones. Raw material deposited. Transferring credit. That one, that's one big piece. Actually, I'm in to grab it. I'm gonna attach it. Salvage to secure. The crew bed. Applying credit. This one I'm, I'm leery on because we had that one time that we had that mystery breakage. Salvage and now I'm always secured. gun shy of that deposited. cabinet. We, we detached the cabinet to the coffee maker where it was, and one of them got broke on our way down. I just don't trust them to get along. Is that everything? That wrapped up fast, didn't it? Applying credit. Alright, well, I guess to fly into the furnace cockpit first. Stray bits other than fuel tanks. Good. Nothing near the barge. One stray light there. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Where are you guys at? There you are. So do we get money for pick? Because like we we lose money if we destroy a um, frost canister. Wait for the Material aluminum accepted. structure to Credit stop design. crediting. Like we don't need all the fuel things. So we have another one sitting there at the at the base. Experiment. Everything's everything to end. The notification to go away. All right, we are missing seven thousand two hundred thirty-four dollars. Your credits we expected. We get nothing for picking it up. We sell it as scrap. Hey, it made hundred dollars off it. I was worried that we were gonna have to blow it up and then send it in as crap. That might blow up on it impact. Or it might just disappear. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's everything. Yeah, because we always, we always grab all of them. Even though, you know, there's too many of them, we just, we just suck them all in. Actually, we make some money off of them. Yes, yeah, so that was $200 off of the remaining. Oh, that's interesting. Eight point eight.
Good morning, Shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you will be successful. So, uh, Jake Snake, is, uh, I might be misremembering this, but I feel like Jake was the name of Snake Plissken, the, the, uh, from Escape from New York. Was that his first name? Can't be right. Jake, Jake Snake Plissken. Did he ever learn his first name? That's what it's making me think of. Very old movie. Classic. Now I want to know. Escape from New York, and, and then there was Escape from L.A., which was, which was not great. <laughs> Yeah, they always called him Snake Plissken, but I felt like there was we heard his first name. It 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 probably wasn't Jake. Uh, let's see if that if it actually actually I, it probably doesn't. Probably just says Snake Plissken. Yep, just says Jake, Snake Snake Plissken. Doesn't give the full name. Apparently there was a snake and Pliskin as two separate characters in Fallout 4. Probably a riff off of... Is it Snake Pliskin Chronicles? Was there a deeper lore for Snake Pliskin? Oh, I've, I've got to... Okay, I've got to dig into this after the stream. Snake, Snake Plissken extended, extended universe. Jake the Snake Roberts was uh, was rest. That might be it. <clears throat> that might be where I'm where I'm thinking of it. That sounds right. All right. Yeah, one heavy cargo. That's what we were wanting to do. I think we will try to maximize our first shift, even though we're definitely out of practice for this, so I don't expect to break any records. And it's going to be whether or not we have the, the, the new interior style that has the cargo in it. I really like the new style over the original. I would choose that style every time. And I don't think it's because it's something new. It's, just, I, it's probably because I like the heavy cargo gecko so much. It's the whole splitting the shell and emptying the cargo out of it. it it's, it's like a javelin version of my favorite ship. Probably why I like it. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Iron hold. Benji with the tether. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, I'm just gonna... 
Salvage I got a daisy expected. chain. Credits transferred. I'm going to get the bottom row out of the way so we can start working on the plates. What interior do we have? Looks like the old style Salvage interior. Okay. Registered. Transferring credits. You gonna read that in just a moment, Jake. How did that not cut the top? Let's see if we can get the next one in a row. Didn't even do that. That was back when you were in the Navy. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. I wanted to join the Air Force to be a pilot, but they said because my vision was impaired, even if I got corrective surgery, it would not let me fly anything. Well, if you're not even going to give me the chance, I ain't, coming, I ain't gonna sign up. I didn't want any guarantees. My, I earned my keep. Not gonna, Account not gonna even applied. consider me. Ooh, that was a weird, like a, a explosion. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. I hope nothing's on fire on the inside. I don't know how I missed. It looked, looked like a looked like a clean shot to me. Such is life. We really should be at the back end dealing with the other stuff. But I know we're not coming back to the front end because this is the old style. Deposited. See, I heard it again. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. I think we're just going to try to get as much as we can get done on the front and not have to come back. So, others might Salvage not be a good situation secured. for us. Making applied. we get rid of here. I bumped the last cargo with the shield. That might have been it. it just it was a weird. It was definitely a weird sound. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. You hear? You hear that? Rewards assigned. I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna try to get a little closer to the next cargo thing that I tether off. See if it's just the, the sound of it coming off of the wall. That maybe we're just not close enough to hear it most of the time. Salvage secured. Applying credits. Oh, see so that was silent. There's a little little stutter there. I'm afraid that I had nipped to the titanium behind it. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. And tethers left. It's not a good time to be going to the back. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. We'll be able to use four up on these. Confirmed. 
applying credit. Oh. Bah, 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 bah. Come on, stop bouncing around. Heathers. Oh, we missed it. one of my tethers. Close that airlock on us anyway. I'm just gonna just go. That's gonna go. Just don't close this. You know it's gonna close this door right in front of us. Processing valuable object. Credit Caught half the door. I think the other half fired itself straight. Yeah, I knew it would do that. Fired itself straight into the. Uh, Hello there. How many times can we force depressurize this? Oh, I'm stuck. I can't move. Hopefully that tether on the back didn't expire. I was not looking closely. I guess we're just going to cut it right here. Out of the way. Careful tap. Five minutes left to get your work done. Okay, Cutter? I'll tether. Salvage secured. Account Dangerous. Applied. Caution. Tether supply depleted. Have a nice day. 
Okay, move on, buddy. You're out of my way. Nope, that doesn't belong there. Is it... Where is it? Is it going into deep space? It went straight through the barge. What? I don't have time for this. Uh, I got you. And then it disappeared. Okay. That happened. Of course, you're pressurized. Why wouldn't you be? Get the reactor. I don't think we're going to get the ECU. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Tether to pull it out because tethers are doing other things right now. Slow down. Thank you. Salvage destroyed. Don't do that. Get away from me. Thank you. Okay, that's the ECU. If there's anything else of real value we can grab at this point. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Salvage goal obtained. Additional rewards assigned. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. 16 million. Not bad. I don't... <clears throat> I don't think we would have gotten substantially more if I hadn't spent the time chasing that stupid shield out into the nethers of space. Which it denied me, even though I caught it. I mean, shy of getting another... Maybe one more door console. I don't think we would have had time to get anything else of value. 
normally we would have wanted to go back to the front of the ship and break the front open. At the very least, we could got some of the, the end cap turned in for the anocarbon. But if there's, you know, anything else in, in the front, like the, uh, the generator. But we wouldn't have had time to get the fuses. I think we, we more or less milked it for what we were going to get out of it. I feel pretty good about it. I think we got all of the shielding. Oh, we didn't get the shielding off the bottom, did we? Oh, that would have been easy money. Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. I don't think we got it, because I, I, I made a mental note that I needed to grab it, but I was circling across the top. And I was going to grab them last, and I don't think I went down there and got them. I think it's an extra extra button there we have to press at the um, to start. Yeah, I missed all those. That would have been speed. We, we would have had time to get these. That would have been easy money. Learn a thousand of these. Minor oversight. I would have put us a little bit closer to 17 million. So we would have gotten this door handle as well. We would have popped that and then. Airlock depressurizing. Lost it in. Easy money. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Probably the most we could have hoped for. Salvage secured. Applying credit. <clears throat> Airlock pressurizing. Oh, I think we got all the, the end cap stuff from around the, the reactor turned in. Which we don't always get that. That was good. Hey, posters. Posters that we already have, but posters nonetheless. Ah, oh, there's the puppy. I don't suppose liquid is with us. Oh, we can actually close this. Let's do that. Air pressure level decreasing. I mean, can we get back in? I think the airlock repressurized itself, and we took the door off of it. Huh. If we have to cut our way back in, then we will. Hmm. Air pressure level increasing. Why did you need to pressurize yourself? Pressurizing. Okay, for some reason I did not expect that. We can go through this chamber and get into there later. Airlock depressurizing. Air pressure level. Airlock depressurizing. Okay. Stay depressurized, please. Airlock pressurizing. Very good. That way we can go out and come back in. Air pressure level decreasing. That's 
for once we can safely dismantle one of these sidecars without weird breakage. Get ourselves a puppy pet. Hey, I got a cheaper for that. Post no bills. I don't think it was specific to that poster. I should look and see what achievements have been added. You know, there are a number of things that we just don't do anymore. <clears throat> like, there's no real reason for me to collect posters other than the ones we don't have. Confirmed. The only reason I even clicked with that one is because of tradition. Like the first puppy. Now that we no longer punch the puppies, we can pet them. Oh, that didn't rotate. Okay, good enough. Free money. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Those should orbit each other. Here we go. Salvage secured. Applying credit. What? No! There should not be any weep weep yeeing. That's an airlock. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Okay, what repressurized itself? Hmm. That was definitely a depressurization warning. Uh oh, we lost the light. Oh no. Inside here, or here, atmospheric regulator. Oh, more poster, and we're working regular. Nice. Oh, there is cargo in here. It is the new one. I didn't notice that. We definitely would have came in here and tried to free some of this. It's, I love this new one. It's so much better. Or so much different, I guess. We are looking for atmospheric regulators. I don't see one working or otherwise. See a big old asteroid or two, they're looking to ambush us. Okay. Well. Um really want to put these in that room, but that room's gonna be depressurized the easy way. Big fan of projectile asteroids. There isn't a sneaky regulator somewhere else. Well, if there is, we'll find out when it comes flying at us. Air pressure level decreased. 
increasing. Pressurizing. I think we got. Oh, really? Did you have to drift up there and block? Get out of here. I think we have one more chamber to depressurize to be the front section. Papers. Pressurizing. Well, that was an aggressive sound. Cutter? Got about that five sounded like something left. breaking. I think anything did, but. Alright, well, let's start opening the shell. Arguably, that was his one tether. Valuable objects purchased. Credits awarded. Salvage uh, deposit registered. Let's leave that Account attached credit. for now. Add mass to the room. Let's like it to rotate for the moment. Salvage deposit confirmed. I want to get to opening this up. Come on. Oh, is this a sealed chamber that we can't get in to depressurize? It is. Let's see if this will depressurize it. Possibly could go wrong, right? Uh, this is not going to go well. I don't want to be this close to it when I do this. An escape route. I feel like this is going to blow the end off. Or absolutely nothing's going to happen. Okay. I guess that was option B. No! Oh, okay, well, that did it instead. We'll have to go outside and see if there's any damage, but we were always looking for a way of depressurizing that without breaking something or cutting something. We got all the titanium plates so we have to be careful about using the split saw. We end up cutting through the wall unintentionally. Something I'm notorious for doing.
One minute left on the Come on, monster. someone's gotta be One minute. freed up. Hey, a titanium right there, that would cut. Is that not freed? I have eight thousand floating lights to individually clean up. Account credit applied. Guess we'll spend our last fifteen seconds cutting these. And then getting stuck, so we're not gonna get any more of them. <laughs> oh no, we lost the light. So, Jake, when you were in the Navy, what, were you uh, deployed on a ship? I always thought the Navy would be pretty cool. Love, I love the water. Love boats. Love submarines. Be cool to serve on a submarine. Kind of odd to say since I'm claustrophobic. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Irish water. Okay. Nice. So you were uh, a pilot in the navy. Even more cool. Deposit accepted for processing. We lose. They didn't send anything anywhere. That's cool. It's better the better have the pilots break it than uh, enemy fire, right? Father was a World War II uh, Navy veteran. He was deployed on a ship. I don't know what kind of ship. I don't doubt that he told me, but it's. He's been gone for years or something like that at this point. Didn't exactly, he didn't exactly talk a lot about it. The Navy. Anyway. Uh, but I do know he was deployed on a ship. I think he was just standard sailor. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Did, did his time in the Navy and then came home and married his, his sweetheart. Went to work in a factory. <laughs> Due to those times. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Oh, I sent that guy. I guess there was one more realized. 
think it's guys above them because they're on the other end of the holders. So this would have been easy money if we'd had time to break the, the floor out, but we don't have... We haven't been able to practice high-speed dismantling uh, of this yet. I mean, just even though we knew that it could be done, we still had trouble figuring out what had to be cut, what didn't. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. I can't imagine that if, you know, we'd have to give up the reactor, basically, to get in here. Like, we could choose, probably, to clear this out or clear the reactor, and I don't... There's no way this is... You know, all this combined is going to be worth the reactor. And giving up the reactor means also giving up the ECU. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Valuable object processed. Credit deposited. Look like it. We... Separate it. I don't see anything else connecting, so it feels like we should be able to pull this gigantic segment out. Probably should pull it up, but. What else is holding it on? Missing a cut point? That looks like that should be an independent segment. They are independent because you can see the the weight on them, the mass. Let's try. Let's cancel tether. Okay, the mass is. Total mass is different, but clearly not part of the rest of the ship anymore. I know the cargo containers can be in the way, but it's not even trying to move. There we go. It's slowly dislodging. Trying to avoid bumping the painters into things and you know, the physics would just go ahead and free it all up for us. And I don't want to do that. I want Salvage it to deposit confirmed. Applying move the way it's supposed to. So I think these guys are just kind of dragging it down. Maybe what we do is we take the floor out. Before we do that, let's make sure Salvage there's any doors or any doors that we need to unlock because breaking that bridge is going to disconnect the power. Yeah, let's go back to front before we do anything else there because as soon as we break that bridge we're gonna we're gonna isolate ourselves from our power sources and cause all kinds of problems. Pressurized. Applying credit. Once we get that bridge out of the way, we'll be able to get the cargo down and out. Did I not just look and see that everything was depressurized? I've got to look at the other cockpit. I was going to make getting in fun because now we can't open the airlock. Salvage secured. 
Credits deposited. That won't work. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Warning. Fuel levels are critical. Oh man. Return to the master jack to purchase supplies. Lost the regulator. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. No oh, new posters. Okay, that is not what I tried to. Material accepted. I am too. If this doesn't work, set the crate on fire, please. Thank you. I feel like the uh, the low fuel warning came kind of abrupt. Like it was like it was. You know, as soon as I broke the fire, the the air thing. Um. It gave me that warning, and the fuel seems a lot lower than it normally would be when we start getting that warning. It feels like I blew out some of my fuel. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Five minutes left, Cutter. Bad okay? when the game starts thinking of me, or thinking for me. I don't want it to think for me, that's for sure. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Oh, we don't want to cut that. Thing in the secret compartment. Bag of lays. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. is on the side we're cutting. I really feel like that low fuel came later than usual. The game's trying to get me. Oh, we got the whole bridge off on two, two cuts. That's a first. fighting with you. Raw material process. Credits deposited. Processor deposit accepted. Oh no! Airlock console forgot to take the airlock from the inside of the bridge. Oh, I knew that was too easy. It cut in two cuts, and then just got me like, oh, look, this is going to be the easiest thing ever. And that wasn't why it was easy. It was because I forgot to get the console out of the inside. Tricky. It's always working against me. Seriously, I cut that. Fine, we'll go get fuel. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Don't think I was gonna make it to the end of this shift. Welcome to Venditron 9. 
Or is it fuel? There it is. Fuel levels restored. Not today. Handles are gone. Very Credit good. Transferred. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Cutter, there's one minute left till the end of the shift. You need to leave me alone when I'm playing with explosives. this first or do we normally cut the fuel out? I think we normally cut the fuel out first. But if we did that then the fuel could be closer to the explosives. <laughs> yeah she doesn't have good timing does she? Yeah, losing that airlock console was our fault. The atmospheric regulator was bad luck. I had a bad bounce. Technically also our fault because I forgot. I looked to see if anything was, was pressurized and somehow missed that entire cockpit. I was focused straight on the, the airlock because that was what I was getting ready to cut out. Cutter nine, it's got tunnel vision. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. Here we got two more shifts in us. See, I thought I think that norm previously you clicked, you know, yes, continue ship, and it would just take you straight into the ship. Now it jumps to that second screen asking you again to press enter or, or whatever your default key is. I don't think that was a thing before. I mean it might have been because before we had to wait for it to load the ship. I feel like I had to hit it one more time. Material deposited. Account credit applied. I don't know if we normally blow this first or cut them first. I don't know that it matters. I'm gonna put my phone on mute. Um. Let's blow it first. don't have to cut here anymore, right? It separates itself now. We just have to not blow this up here, which has happened, even though we clearly are not hitting it. I will never feel safe on doing this cut.
Ooh, flared up too. Remembering how we did this, how we did this. Cut the aluminum, we get settled on a way. We have to break the cage because either side will catch it, so. Let's just pull the whole thing out. Remove the cage from it once it gets out, gets clear. That really didn't go the direction that we shot it. Settled on booping these a little bit. They'll unstuck. They're going to the same place as the, as the outer cage. And I'm okay with the outer cage dragging it. We don't care if it gets stuck or not on the cage itself. We want it to be free of the aluminum. Whatever it drag, whatever it fails to drag, will send in manually. The rest of the cage we can leave alone. This is all open. We still have to cut our way in, regardless of whether or not we blew this open. And there are supports holding it together. That's strange. We've never had to get in here without having to break, you know, the decompression breaking an opening for us to go in. Now we have to get away in anyhow. I it really just left everything, didn't it? If we cut along any any part of this, it's still going to be held together by the inner. Maybe we just do a weird diagonal cut. Ourselves on the inside. up it should come apart real nicely I mean we'll have to cut this 
aluminum bit off of there, but that should be yep, nice and easy. I like this a lot better when it doesn't blow apart. Oh, because I knew this wall. I couldn't cut it from the other side because I'd cut the back of the wall so I came around. And then, of course, that back wall was just in my way. What's up? Wall in that logic. Ah, nice and clean. Yeah. Excellent. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Away from the rest of the ship. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Bunch of lights still floating around that we have to clean up. All right. Now we can deal with this bridge. Oh, wow, that's heavy. Well, on the other side of it, but let's just make Apply sure. To Processing valuable deposit. Credits transfer. Salvage goal cleared. Rewards allocated. A little bit more. Yep. Go. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Valuable object process. Bump my head a little bit there. A space concussion. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Oop. Caught it, and I thought I missed it, then I let go of it, and now I don't know where it went. Probably the one. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Five minutes left in the shift, Cutter, okay? Okay. Okay. Straight one. We'll, we'll come back and get that one. Everything else is out of the way. Probably should take care of these fuses. Salvage secured. Applying credit. I don't understand why the fuses blow if you remove the power. Isn't it the other way around? Aren't fuses meant to blow if there's too much power, not the power going away? <laughs> feels like if you take it, it feels like it should be the other way around. If you dismantle the fuses before you remove the power, then the ship should overpower, should overcharge and. Having to cut the floor out of these round ones. 
it still doesn't look as clean. After cutting through more materials here, you're losing more mass. Object processed. Transferring credit. Although strangely, she's not complaining about these cuts. Melt the bars around them, she'll complain about it. Salvage deposit secured. Chairs attached, but that was all that's left. Chairs should not fully in place. Apparently they were. bed when I've attached it with a tether. Hide up in the corner and away from it. They're always so energetic when they come off. Because they're really light, but yet they're really well attached. Billiards. Okay, that room is done. Raw material oh, deposited. Problem. Transferring credits. A fairly quick shift after this. Oh, I think we're going to start the process of that. One percent lost. Guess we're probably not getting our ninety-nine percenter. Good morning, ship breaker. Your allocated shift time will be commencing shortly. I keep hitting the enter. I, I gotta figure out. Post something about that. That key is no longer honoring the binding. I'm guessing wherever the default key is probably still works. E or whatever. Anyone know what the, the default key is for that? Oh, one tether left. Whatever the default key is, I'm guessing. Space? I'll try to remember after this shift to try hitting the space bar and see if, uh, if it skips. I bet you it will. Hiding behind there. the 
rhythm. Let's just go ahead and get these out. the power on top of it, yeah. Probably don't want to send it into the furnace yet. Caution. Tethers depleted. Oh, that was my last tether, too. Guess we're doing this manually. Door handles, no door handles. Registered. Transferring credits. Welcome to Vendidron 9000. Have a nice day. Alright, let's clear up everything now. Other than the little, little bits from the fuses. Traveling. There's the last one. Deposit accepted. I really like the the thumbs up, thumbs down that they added. I mean, it was completely unnecessary. And the thumbs up, I don't really care about. It's just the thumbs down. It just it seems so in character for fix it, wanting to remind you that you did something wrong. Not fix it. <laughs> wrong game. Links Corp. Good, good, good. There. Uh, that'll have to do. Not sure that was clean. <laughs> Got it all. All right. Side. Let's go this way. Deposit accepted for processing. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. That little thing I said was hiding behind the that point. A lot of satisfaction out of surgically removing those little support beams around the airlocks. Valuable object processed. Credit I think that awarded. spun the whole thing, didn't it? Oh, it did. Account credit applied. Right. Oh, okay. Avoid severe head trauma by following good helmet maintenance practices. Oh, I could pluck it before it did that. Would you? Let's just not do that again.
Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Just away from the room so you can spin the room back to the right orientation. Yeah, I just, I, I mean, I knew I was pulling it too hard at me, but I thought I was going to succeed in snagging it before it could get at, get in my face. I did not succeed in that. Secured. Applying credit. Plan did not bear out. Grab this first. Yep. Lights still attached to it. Nothing broke apart. Thought I had managed to keep it together. I don't think that was actually an option. As far as this floor came out, we didn't remove any of the computers. Normally the computers are holding it together. You gotta be careful about plucking all these things off so it doesn't flip the room all over the place. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. I'd like to turn the room just a little bit. Thank you. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. We're just gonna risk it. They're, they're not powered. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, that probably would have been ugly if there'd been power to arc. Still could have destroyed themselves, but at least they didn't wouldn't have taken the whole room with them. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Valuable object accepted for processing. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Could have been another one of these little little guys, personal terminals floating around here. Oh, there it is. Okay, get all the door handles. Be one on the last side. Yeah. Salvage secured. Applying credit. All right. I think we've got it all. Hey, Cutter, you've got five minutes left in the shift. Hope you're. Having fun. Going blast, Dee thanks. You know, if somebody were to make a mod where they replaced all of Dee Dee's lines with Dee Dee from Dexter's Lab, I would totally install that mod. I had to shut off my visor because I 
instinctively know that negative sound of something going in that wasn't supposed to go in. Damn. You did wrong. Damn. I didn't really realize how much they reinforce negative behavior. And I don't mean that from a um, programmer, just, you know, the developer is doing a bad job of trying to force a player to do a thing a, a, a certain way, which some games do terribly. But they're, they're delivering on, you know, the, the theme, which is that Lynx uh, really wants you to do things a certain way. For them to reinforce it with a lady complaining, a thumbs down, the dink. All those things are like Lynx really wants to make sure that you know they're conditioning you to not want to do the bad thing. I appreciate the subtlety that you know, with them all together, you don't necessarily notice each individual one, it just comes together as a cacophony of a, a singular purpose. I think it's everything. 7.4 million left from that round. Nice. 98.7. Hello, Centric Cashew. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the game. Uh, welcome to the channel. It's a new name. Unfortunately, we're wrapping up the stream. Uh... Yeah, I mean, yes, this game does show why uh, there is value in unions. Good morning, Cutter Absolutely. 9346-52. All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and productive day. Okay, uh, we said space bar was supposed to be right, so I'm hitting the key that shows us the enter, and either the enters are working. Oh, space bar didn't even work. Yeah, it, it has unmapped, it has successfully disassociated that from the default button. Um, but nothing, nothing on the keyboard seems to be working. Be close to me with that. Uh, there, there was definitely a lot of, uh, a lot of backlash, but it was a very vocal minority when they introduced the whole Union storyline. From people who are anti-union. Uh, we try to stay out of politics on this channel as much as we can, but uh, yeah, we, we there were there was there was definitely a, a some people who were not happy about it. But yeah, this game does uh, illustrate very well how unregulated large corporations can abuse their employees, and uh, it definitely happens in the real world. All right. Uh, it was good to get back to this game. Um, of course, we're going to wrap it. We've done our, you know, this, this is kind of the rhythm that we're in as we do one of each ship. And we're right at our four and a half hour mark. Uh, I don't, you know, I intend to stream something next week, usual time. Um... Uh, yeah, well, I mean, the binding is not working at all just on that on that one place. Everywhere else, from what I can tell, the bindings are working fine. And obviously, I I play left-handed, so all my bindings, or most of my bindings, are non-standard. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, yet to be determined what we'll be streaming next Saturday. Uh, we might come back to this. You know, I'm never tired of playing this, uh, and it was good to see the old crowd and you know, much of the old crowd show up. Uh, it was right on time for for it, which is great. Uh, I might be looking at Stacklands to determine whether or not it's very viable for a stream. Uh, the thing about Stacklands is that one's play session can last for can can be quite lengthy. 
but if it's a good game to play through in a session. Uh, it's just there's, there are some lulls in the middle where I don't know how well it will play out in a, a live stream. But I'll think about it. But uh, thanks very much for coming out. It was great seeing everyone again. Uh, it was great being back to Hardspace Shipbreaker. We have not found our posters yet. We are not done. <laughs> so if not next week, then again soon. Um, I don't plan... I don't expect to be doing any satisfactory live streams in the near future. Uh, aside from the Tower of Power being very draining, <laughs> because it took us so long to build it, uh, none of my immediate projects really would play well to it. Uh, so maybe there's a couple of big projects that will be down the pike, but it, it'll be a little while before I get to them. We'll determine at the time whether or not they're good for stream. Uh, so we'll see. But uh, thanks for coming out, and uh, be sure to leave a like on the way out. Uh, I think everybody here has subscribed. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow should be uh, the next Satisfactory episode. I have done no editing on it, but I've recorded a ton of footage, and uh, and I've done everything in-game I need to do. I'm just not sure if I'm not just going to re-record the whole thing, because I, I'm fine with what I've recorded. Uh, it's just the the way the final project came out, I feel like maybe telling it from a different angle might be viable. So I'm going to work on that tonight and uh, hopefully have that out by tomorrow. Uh, so thank you very much for coming out and have a, a great rest of your weekend and uh, the great rest of your night.